Hi, I'm Christina and this is a book review of The High House by Jessie Greengrass. So this is a science fiction novel, it was published in 2021 and it's been shortlisted for the Orwell Prize for Political Fiction in 2022, which is when I first heard about it and became interested in reading it. So if you're interested in the Orwell Prize for Political Fiction, definitely stick around because I'm planning to read pretty much all of the books on the shortlist. So in this novel, the main theme is climate change. The world is experiencing very extreme weather conditions and it feels very reminiscent of what we're actually experiencing now in the world. So the story is set in what we presume to be the not too distant future and we follow a few main characters. So our main characters are called Caro and Paulie. They are brother and sister and their parents together are a scientist who does a lot of research on climate change and then an academic at a university. So the mother of Paulie really wants to make provisions for her son in the future. She is a leading scientist and she knows where this is going to go. So she has actually inherited a house um, which is called the High House and it has excellent provisions. It has a mill, it has a vegetable garden, it has a very large barn and she starts stocking this barn with supplies and working on this as a project so she can ensure the safety of her son and her stepdaughter. So that's the main kind of premise of the book and there's another couple of characters in here. We have a woman called Sally who's a similar age to Caro and she also has her grandfather Grandy and it's just really a story about well it's about found family it's a very large theme which was really nice to explore and it's just so so beautifully written it's an absolutely wonderful book this is definitely a five star read for me it's definitely one of my favorite books of the year so far and it's now up there as one of my favorite science fiction novels of all time it just feels so reminiscent of today it feels so so much like what's actually happening in the world so it's kind of light science fiction in that way is this genuinely could all happen this all feels very very real so it's set in britain and the issue is flooding essentially which is very realistic and yeah it's just really really well written i would highly recommend you read this one i actually read this novel in a single day and i haven't read a book in a day for years and years and years i mean apart from in covid when we we're in lockdown um, I haven't read a book so quickly for such a long time and it's just because this story was just so compelling, it felt so realistic, it was so beautifully written. I just love her writing style, all of her characters felt so real and it was so easy to connect to them and um, I will say that I did cry at the end of this story. I was so, so emotionally connected to this character to these characters and just so emotionally invested in this whole story to be honest. I think the very last page of this story was so profound. I literally sat there and read the last page maybe four or five times in succession because it was just it was just so well done. I mean profound is the word I would use for it. It was just so well written, it really left a deep impact on me. I think I'll be thinking about this story for weeks and months and probably years to come. It's it's just absolutely wonderful and I could not recommend it um, any more highly than that. So if you haven't given this one a read, I would absolutely recommend that you pick it up. I have actually only read one book from the Oral Prize shortlist so far. This is the very first one I picked up because it's the one I was initially most drawn to. And I have to say, I think this is definitely a worthy winner. I mean, I haven't read any of the others, but honestly, this could definitely win. It's absolutely wonderful. It's just so well written. I think that's the thing I would say so much. It was just so easy to keep turning those pages and to just see what's going to happen to all of these characters. So it's told in two different perspectives. We hear from Caro and Sally and it's alternating perspectives between those two people. Um, we just kind of see them through a certain period of time. And obviously we also see the perspective from Paulie, but it's a much kind of smaller perspective because obviously at the beginning of the story, he's so young, he's only four years old. So most of the story is told through the two women, Caro and Sally. And then we do hear snippets from Paul as time goes on. And I have to say some of the ones from Paul at the very end were very, very moving and just, yeah, they felt so, so realistic. This would make an absolutely wonderful movie, I think. And yeah, they all felt like genuine people, not just characters in a story, very three dimensional, just a lot going on in here. And I thought it was really well done. And just the way that we saw 
the way in which the world changes and it is a story focusing on survival essentially and um, a very small group of people in a community trying to survive and before that maybe a slightly larger community and then just seeing it as a whole and then just seeing how the whole world is coping if that makes sense we go from like a very large scope to seeing how this is affecting everyone and then we just kind of narrow our focus throughout the story on this very small community where the high house is and then the whole kind of village around them and then just literally the occupants of the high house so we really do narrow in on just a very small group of people and yeah i think it's absolutely wonderful and um, definitely one of the best books i've read this year definitely one of the best science fiction books i've ever read so yeah thank you so much for watching please do like the video if you've liked it. If you have read this book, I would love to know what you thought of it down in the comments below. And in terms of Jessie Greengrass as an author, I'm definitely going to be reading more by her. She's, she's great. <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what else she has written. And I will be reserving some of those things at my library. So yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.